Right now, Maryland, Virginia, and D.C. all have laws on the books which protect the right to an abortion at some point during pregnancy. But West Virginia is one of those states with a pre-Roe ban. So let's verify. If Roe were overturned, would abortions be illegal in West Virginia? We checked with the West Virginia State Code, the state constitution, and Dr. Ann Banfield, an OBGYN who worked in West Virginia for 13 years. She says that with Roe overturned, a law passed in the 1840s would come back into effect. In short, it reads, quote, any person who shall administer any drug or other thing to produce abortion or miscarriage shall be guilty of a felony and jailed for three to 10 years. The code has an exception if the abortion is, quote, done in good faith with the intention of saving the life of such woman or child. In general, anyone who might provide that care uh, could potentially uh, be penalized. On top of that, voters narrowly approved Constitutional Amendment 1 in 2018, which states, quote, nothing in this Constitution secures or protects a right to abortion or requires the funding of abortion. They were trying to make sure that nothing in existing in West Virginia's Constitution could be used to support a woman's right to an abortion. So a strict pre-row law plus a constitutional amendment means that if Roe's overturned, services for abortion in West Virginia will be severely restricted, if not completely restricted. So yes, we can verify that even though West Virginia's old law is not currently enforced due to Roe v. Wade, it could be enforced if Roe is overturned and the felony charge would fall on the person performing the abortion. West Virginia's Attorney General Patrick Morrissey did not get back to us when we asked whether his office intends to immediately enforce that law. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov.